Wilson Morales from Black Women TV. Obviously, you've been working behind the scenes for such a long time. Yeah. When did you know you were ready to get behind as the first, you know, for this is your first film, mm -hmm. and when did you know this was going to be the right project? Um, it was very much, I think I sort of like slowly walked myself uh, up to this format, which is the sort of feature length format. I always felt um, that that was what I wanted to do, but was scared to do it and felt like I needed to build a lot of technical skills. Um, so I sort of like edged my way to that thing by sort of doing music videos and TV and um, those kind of smaller formats. Um, and then I felt that I was excited to sort of dive into this this format of film. Um, and then right at that moment, I uh, kind of read this wonderful book by Am Shine called The Watchers, and it just felt like it was so kind of suited to the things I was interested in and excited me so much. And there's always a challenge of trying to adapt something that people know of. Yes, yeah. And making the film, you have to take a liberty as far as what yeah. you have to leave out and yes. what you have to add into it. You mm -hmm. know, how much pressure did you have going into that, knowing like, okay, I'm going to add a few changes, but still keep it faithful? I think for me, it felt somewhat naturalistic where I just loved the book so much that it was very much my intention to preserve, I thought, what was so beautiful about this art piece. Um, and it was really wonderful. I had uh, was able to kind of talk to A.M., who's the author, and we were very kind of close through the process. And I wanted to make sure that he didn't feel, uh, as an artist, like that I was I was kind of taking away his art or anything or doing doing something he didn't want. So we were very uh, communicative about those things, and it was just wonderful. I think um, a story can be many different things, and it's just uh, what format you're in can can make it feel altogether different. You know, there's the line, the apple doesn't fall from the far from the, <laughs> the question is, will you change that line mm -hmm. and do different genres? I think I'll always inevitably play a little bit within the sort of horror thriller genre. I think um, just by nature of what I'm interested in, that happens to be kind of the color palette that I love to play with. Um, but I'm very interested in kind of like pushing further and further and expanding more and more into sort of, yeah, like fantasy horror intersection and just the stories that I find compelling to me. Having done this, yeah. skill set wise, you mm. know, you've worked on serving and other stuff, but yeah. now that you, this is your first film, mm -hmm. skill set wise, what did you pick up that you can now add to your whatever project you do next? I mean, so many things. I think the the yeah filmmaking journey, in my experience, is very much like a curation of the self, and it requires um, a great level of like endurance and communication skills and things that I think uh, were not natural to me. Um, and that I had to build. So it was just like, I think any any format, the kind of exercise and going through the process gave me, I think, this like level of uh, a bit more confidence and a bit more, um, I feel a bit more equipped to kind of go go kind of tell tell even even more crazy stories as I move forward. Yeah. It's plain, and there's a lot of projects out there. Yeah. What's in cinema, what's streaming. Yeah. It's about letting people know, yes. you know, that it's there. Yeah, absolutely. What's gonna get people to watch The Watchers? I think there's such uh, power in this kind of original um, theatrical content where uh, for me kind of like the most sacred art form and the most sacred experience to me is when I get to go be in a theater um, and experience like a soundscape and visuals uh, and characters with other people. I think that kind of like collective sharing is really, really wonderful thing and a wonderful art form. So it's very much, I think, uh, kind of catered specifically to that experience. Um, and so I hope that's kind of what sets it apart and sort of brings it brings it out. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. It was so lovely to meet yes. you. Thank you. Wilson Morales from Black Women TV. You've had your share of horror type of films. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what led you to say yes to taking on this project? The script. The script was really great. It was really well written. Um, I was really intrigued in the character of Kira. And then obviously um, Ishana's involvement and knowing that Dakota Fanning was going to be the lead, it was kind of a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. So when you think about Kira, we won't give so much away, but how would you best describe her as far as what she's going through? 
Kira, I kind of, when I was like looking at her, I was looking at like trad wives, which is this like new thing of like traditional 1950s housewives on TikTok. And they're kind of like going back to the traditions of being a, a mother and a wife and looking after their husband. And I kind of saw her as being that sort of person and then having her husband ripped away from her and feeling like she has no identity without him. She doesn't know how to live without him. Um, so that's kind of what she's going through. It's quite tragic. There's always that sense of fear when somebody's trapped in the woods and what would they do to get out? Mm -hmm. You know, did you immerse, did you imagine like what does Kiri have to do to get herself out? She's, you know, especially when you just said yourself, husband's not around. She's mm -hmm. now have to fend for her own. Yeah, I think that's the, the point really is that Kira doesn't know how to get out and she's not trying to. She wants to stay. She wants to find her husband. She's in this delusion that he's still out there. Um, and really it's kind of Mina and Dakota's character coming in that changes everything. And Dakota's character has this kind of strength and um, ability to kind of rile them all up together. Now, I don't know if you read the book or not, but is there anything you wanted to do different that outside of what the book had the character do and outside what the script called for to make it your own? I think the character already felt quite different from the book as soon as I took it on. Um, I like I look very different than the character in the book. The way that it was written was a little bit different um, than the character in the book. Um, and then obviously you you can't help but bring your own your ownness to a role. So I'm sure um, I did change Kira in ways I can't necessarily put my finger on it, but I definitely brought myself <laughs> to the role, if that makes sense. And you've had other projects, but people know this one. They're going to know this one. They're going to know, you know, Barbarian. Are you a screen queen or do you want to get out of that genre? I'm a screen queen. Apparently I'm a screen queen. I, do you know what? I don't know. I feel like everyone gets, you know, it's like, oh my God, you're, you're doing this too much or you should be doing this or you should be doing that. And I'm still kind of building my career and I'm very happy and proud to do and get the jobs that I have. So I certainly wouldn't turn down another horror film if it was a good character and a good script. And, you know, I also would love to do other genres and I have. So, yeah. So what goes into saying, yes, is it the script, location, the people or the time frame which you can do it? Um, oh God, sometimes it's it's actually all of those. I mean, script is first. You would love it to be script. Um, and then sometimes, you know, location can be very, you know, if you're getting a job and it's like in Jamaica or somewhere, you're like, yeah, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and then time, maybe not so much. It's, it's, it's more script and who's kind of working with it, who the director is and perhaps who the other cast is. It's, it changes like every time. Hey, congrats on this one. Thank you. Take care. Yeah, you too.